I was afraid of small things, meaning that I couldn't imagine myself carrying babies. <laughs> I was afraid I might drop them. <laughs> Miss Free Wing was uh, not really a mysterious building, but it was named after a Parsi man. So he donated a big sum to, at that time, called Utran Road General Hospital, now called Singapore General Hospital, yeah, to build a pediatric uh, building yeah, with two wings, so we call it the mystery wing. I yeah, on the that. west side was the University Department of uh, Pediatric, where Prof Wong was the head of the department for many years. I was very fortunate that Prof Wong Hopwood was still actively teaching during our times. He was really an encyclopedia on legs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and when he teaches you, he teaches you at the right level and very clearly. When we were training in this department, every year, the pass rate for the pediatric exam was 100%. It starts his rounds at 7 a.m. No, but his teaching was even earlier yeah, than yeah. that, right? Here. <laughs> and he'll be the first one there. He'll start even if there's only one, one person, person there. <laughs> yes. This is the Prof uh, Wong's um, commitment to teaching and also to create a uh, system for the department to grow and of course for the education and the training to keep continuing. People like Prof Lau, uh, Prof Lee, Prof, Prof. Yap, who went on to really develop a lot of things in clinical research as well, uh, actually all came from actually Prof Wong's uh, mentorship okay. and, and, guidance. and guidance. We used to spend a lot more time with the nurses. Yes. Right. Yeah. We used to talk a lot with them. We practically in the ward all, all the, the time. time. And we were on call. I mean, we used to sneak uh, night snacks Next. and we cook porridge <laughs> and eat in the ICU. Yeah. And the night sister doing rounds come and we just you, cover you, everything you, you, up. You, 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 you need to be censored. Yeah, yeah that was censored. It was, a, it was anymore. illegal, you know, but we still did it. And it was so much fun. We got to know the nurses very, very well. Yeah. We used to go out outings with the nurses and everybody. Everybody got along with each other very, very well and we really had a lot of interaction. Everybody helped each other and that was really a wonderful, glorious period of the past. The early years, uh, the those doctors that is now professors and They're famous internationally, right? They are actually very friendly. They call you by names. Like Prof. Uh, Alan Yeo always will say, Auntie Betty, you know? Mm. That kind of thing, yeah. So they are very close to us. We are always involved by getting the doctor to donate money uh, for the big Christmas children's party or even children's day. Mm -hmm. You know, and then we will, everybody will dec deco our own ward, right? Challenging each other, right? Uh, but we will have a big party uh, together with the children. I would encourage nurses to continue the journey on, mm. to seek new knowledge. We, we should bear much with other top ranking hospital that I see. Everything is, there's no boundaries and no limitations. In knowledge, in, in advancement, in care, there's always things of improvement. For the, our um, psychological, emotional aspect of care in pediatric oncology and in pediatrics, we will be able to map out that um, the patients get great support throughout their hospitalization and then they will be able to um, care for the child at home. Although we've grown many fold, the complexity and the hierarchy has changed significantly. But I think the primary characteristic and culture within the department is still we're very much like a family. And so everybody supports one another. Of course, now it's a much more complex structure. But I think the general attitude at least is that, you know, we take care of the juniors, we will mentor and teach them. And we work together as a huge family, now much huger than the past. <laughs> but I think that, that particular trait still holds true right through to today. This is what NUH Pediatrics stands for. It's held true through the generations and we hope you'll continue yeah. into the future. Okay.